Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll check out all the vibrant orientation event activities lined up for the month of September in RO 2.0 Isle of Dreams. Participating in these event activities will grant generous rewards and limited edition items so you better not miss it out. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have an event puzzle consisting of 9 puzzle pieces. Collecting each puzzle piece will give you one dreamy chest which you can open to get a random MVP material. You'll also get special rewards by collecting 3, 6, and 9 puzzle pieces. By collecting 3 puzzle pieces, you'll obtain one Freshman Entrance gift pack which you can open to obtain 50 Innocent Wish, which is the event currency and one of the following items randomly. Then by collecting 6 puzzle pieces, you'll obtain 2 Freshman Entrance gift pack and one Frey coin. And lastly, collecting all 9 puzzle pieces will grant the event-exclusive Sea of Knowledge card, which you can inlay in your foot gear to get the following attributes. Up next, you have the usual 5-day sign-in event where we'll get a series of 5 consecutive daily missions. Just go to Sula NPC at Pantera Square to accept a series of quests. Every time you complete one mission, you will get one Freshman Entrance gift pack. Completing all 5 missions will also grant the Campus Series Headwear Self-Select Gift Box which can be used to select any of the following campus-themed headwear blueprints from past events. Truancy King Headwear Blueprint Flying Wisdom Back Headwear Blueprint All Pass Headwear Blueprint and All Purpose Formula Tail Headwear Blueprint there's also an option to redeem one strawberry marshmallow. You can get another self-select gift box from the event shop which costs 450 innocent wish coins. Up next, we have the Silver Brawl daily event quest. Just go to Silver Wind NPC at Frontera Square to accept a series of quests. Every time you complete one mission, you will get one silver proof which you can open to get 50 innocent wish coin, 200,000 zenny, and all of the following items. Completing 5 daily quests will also grant the event exclusive Stranger's Mask Face item which grants the following attributes. Up next, we have an instance event which lasts for 7 days. Just talk to Cage NPC at Pantera South Gate to enter the event dungeon. This is a dynamic instance where each instance can host a maximum of 30 players. Once inside, you will encounter several monsters which you need to defeat. At first, only small monsters will spawn and defeating them has a chance to drop Innocent Wish Coin. After 20 to 70 normal monsters killed, Elite Monsters will spawn. The Elite Monsters also have a chance to drop Innocent Wish Coins and the daily limit is up to 200 only. Once you've killed 10 Elite Monsters, 6 Altars will spawn. The Altars will not drop any coin but you need to kill all 6 Altars in order to spawn the MVP boss monster at the center of the map. You need to defeat the MVP boss monster to get the Veneva Lentine's treasure, which you can open to get all of the following items. You can only get one treasure box daily. Once the MVP has been defeated, the dungeon process will reset and normal monsters will spawn again. The Dr. Bite Back item grants the following attributes and can be used as weapon skin. You can get another Dr. Bite fragment from the event shop so it's possible to craft two pieces of Dr. Bite Back item. Up next, we have a one-time reward that you can claim in celebration of Teacher's Day. Just look for Bruce NPC at Pontera Square from September 10 to 13 to receive the Teacher's Day Appreciation Gift Box. Opening it grants the following items. Up next, we have a divination event from September 16 to 23. Just talk to Jero NPC at Pantera Square and help with his divination exercises to get one of the following buffs. In addition, you'll receive one Golden Tea Party gift box, which you can open to get 60 Innocent Wish Coin, 200,000 Zenny, and one of the following items randomly. Getting a total of 5 Golden Tea Party gift packs will grant the event exclusive Drowsy Spore Headwear which grants the following attributes. This can be claimed from the event puzzle interface. Up next, we have another one-time reward which you can claim in celebration of the Mid-Autumn Festival. Just look for Cage NPC at Cryptura Academy from September 19 to 22 to get the Mid-Autumn Reunion gift box. Opening it grants the following items. 
Last for the non-BCC events, we have the usual material donation event from September 23 to 30. You can donate various materials to Cage NPC at Frontera Square up to two times daily and each donation will grant one Happy Grove gift box. Opening it will grant one Innocent Wish coin, one Meteoric Chain, one Pouring Grove Panacea, and one of the following items randomly. All in all, the events will grant a total of 2,784 Innocent Wish Coins, but in order to buy out all the items from the event shop, you will need at least 3,125 coins. Thus, you need to prioritize which items to buy first depending on your character's needs. Up next, let's take a look at the different BCC events. First up, from September 3 to 14, you'll be able to purchase the Fantasy Rune 1 and 2 gift pack with a max purchase limit of 60 each. The Fantasy Rune 1 gift pack costs 20 BCC and is guaranteed to give you 2 old rune box, 1 glittering rune stone, and 2 random MVP boss materials. There's also a 20% chance to get a class S rune of your class and a 0.2% chance to get a mini unlock card album. Meanwhile, the Fantasy Rune 2 gift pack costs 40 BCC and is guaranteed to give you 4 old rune box, 2 glittering rune stone, and 4 random MVP boss materials. There's also a 50% chance to get a class S rune of your class and a 0.5% chance to get a mini unlock card album. This will definitely help if you still lack the ideal class S runes for your job, especially if you have just transitioned to the new Gunslinger class. Up next from September 14 to 21, you will be able to purchase the Ancient Treasure for 25 BCC with an account purchase limit of 100 times. Opening it will grant 1 Ancient Relic Essence, which you can use to exchange for Ancient Relic Shards, 2 Magic Branch Dream, which you can use to summon an MVP from the new episode, 4 Svartov Normal Dust for upgrading your Ancient Relic stats, and 2 random MVP materials from the new episode. And lastly, from September 21 to October 1, you'll be able to purchase the Frioni card collection for 30 BCC with no purchase limit. Opening it will grant 50 Nolan cards and one of the following items randomly. Kissing Pouring is a tail item that grants the following attributes. White Wave and Magical Sea Cruise are still unknown, but these can be listed in exchange for 100 million zenny. Alright, so far we've gone through all the vibrant orientation event activities happening this month of September. Which event are you most excited about? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.